What a view. This desert looks so much better than it used to. But yes. Oh, well, except for this. But yes, anyway. So today we're going to be doing a mini quest that I'm not sure I've ever done before. Definitely not since EOC. Um, we're going to be doing the Desert Slayer Dungeon mini quest. Not much of a mini quest. I don't think it's even required for the Completionist Cape. I could be wrong on that, though. Might be required for, like, Trimmed and stuff like that. But what it is, is there's four little Slayer bosses to fight in the Slayer dungeon over here. And we're going to fight them, just because. Why not? They're there. I'm hopefully over-prepared. I really don't know. Don't know much of anything about these guys. The way the guide talks about them makes me a little worried. But I don't actually know. Anyway, we got to pass this barrier. Which, uh, I had forgotten that there was, like, a whole thing down here. Not just stuff but actual things like these guys these evil evil aberrant specters all right so i think how this will work is when we go through here we'll get teleported to a different room that has a basilisk boss i guess we're going to start with basilisk because why not um we have the mirror shield oh i guess first of all though well look i've been training my stats as you can see we're finally all 70 plus excluding invention which is great. You know, we got 73 defense, all that. Very happy with how combat is progressing. Slayer's up to 79, so we're doing good there. Obviously, a big goal for Slayer is 80, because it gets us the Abyssal Vine Whip at 75 attack. Very good. Abyssal Vine Whip will be my next augmented weapon when we finally get this dang thing up to 10. It takes a lot longer than I thought it would at that level. But nevertheless, there are things to fight that I can just fight and train it. And then after that, the big major goal is um, 85 because of Abyssal Demons. But the other big thing is we're one combat level away from having Cordell as our Slayer Master. So that's fun. Other than that, I think there's been some other level changes outside of combat, but I don't actually know. Anyway, uh, what else? Oh, Seed Aside we have on our tool belt now. And I think that's everything. So without further ado... Is there anything I need to know about this? I don't think so. I think he'll be lowering my stats even with the mirror shield, so that's why I have restore potions. Um, we might want prayers set up. What are my quick prayers set to right now? Magic. Yeah, we don't want that. Um, we want... How about... Melee attack and melee strength. That'll do. Alright, and my prayer's down, which sucks. I didn't notice. Oh, well, I don't think it matters. We got prayer potions if it does. All right. Okay. Yes. He's really tiny. I I mean, I I was expecting a little more, but he does look different. He looks cool. I like that when they updated the Basilisk, they made him a unique model. Uh, what is going on? Oh, it's because I can't use two weapons, so I'm kind of failing. How's my stats looking? Holy cow, he lowers stats. Okay, yeah, we're gonna want a prayer, because he's lowering my prayer as well. So we might as well use it, or lose it. All right, come on, kill him. How's my stats? They're lowered again. At least it, the, I think the only difference between restore and super restore is that super restore does prayer as well. I could be wrong on that. Anyway, yeah, as I expected, this guy's not actually that terrifying, so. Very good stuff. We should be able to beat all four bosses quite easily. Oh, um, something else. I got a, another clue scroll issue, which is I have a clue scroll that requires Legends Quest, which we would have to do Heroes Quest first. So Heroes Quest could potentially be our next quest, because it would be nice to have all these locations done for hard clue scrolls. All right, so now we can go in there and fight Basilisks if we want. I, I don't know why anyone would ever want to do that, but you can. All right, so that is it for that. And these guys are vicious and trying to murder me. Prayer is out because I forgot to turn it off. Oops. Oh, well, we'll restore it. All right, so these guys have like a mega poison effect, which would be pretty neat except for poison purge, which completely negates it. All right, let's see this guy. Oh, look at him. He looks so different. What's sad is you can only fight these guys once. I would like it if they had made these into Elite Slayer stuff. You know, like, have them have a higher Slayer requirement to fight. 
Why am I not able to use... What is going on here? I forgot to restore my ability levels, I guess. Or is he lowering them? He's lowering them, holy cow. Two things that have a mega stat lowering effect? Is that what I'm seeing here? Or is it just that my stats were that low? I think maybe my stats were just that low. Oh well. Either way, they're high now. This guy is vicious. I mean, I, I won't lie, these guys are not, like, pushovers or anything. But... They're still not that dangerous. Considering one of them requires a level 70 Slayer, they're really not that dangerous. Oh well. Yeah, but yeah, it makes me sad that these couldn't be an actual Slayer monster. I don't know why they don't do that. Dead. Hooray, now we can go in there and fight a million of them. Potentially useful, they have some interesting drops, I guess. I guess, are they stronger than normal cave crawlers? They might be. Are normal cave crawlers level 78 now? That's, oh gosh. Oh, it's these guys lowering my stats. I'm halfway to completing post fume. What does that mean? I don't know, at least now I know why my stats are lowering. It's cause I don't have, I have mask earmuffs. I guess you just need a slayer mask to fight these guys. That sucks. I wish they weren't aggressive to me. Oh well. Alright, so these also don't restore your stats all the way. It's good to know. Alright, so for this one we need the leaf bladed swords. That's about it. Sucks we can't get experience, but whatever. Yes, I feel brave to fight this guy. His graphics aren't that interesting. But the Turoth one I think is going to be funny because Turoths have not been graphically updated in 5,000 years. I've got nothing going on here, right? Yeah, I think this guy's special ability is he just spawns minions, which are just lower level grasks. He is really tough. Ease. I'm gonna get my prayer going on here. It's more that it really sucks that you have to use leaf bladed swords just because they're only level 50. And nowadays, like, the level of weapons is one of the most important things in the world for accuracy and stuff. There's no more punching things to death, even if you're way higher level. I miss... I miss being able to kill the Yuri Imposter if you didn't have a weapon while doing a clue scroll. But I did that, I went into the wilderness for a clue scroll and forgot to have a weapon. That was fun. Alright, come on, just die already. There we go, jeez. Hooray! We can now pass this barrier freely. I guess I could take the portal there and it would work, right? Yeah, I guess that's the way to avoid taking the damage from those jerks. I mean, we'll take the damage from these jerks, but we're defended from them. Not that big of a deal. It feels like the distance here is a lot greater than the distance down there. It's kind of strange. Oh well. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Yeah, the Turoth one, I think, looks really dumb. Could be wrong. Alright, Turoths. Kinda hate you guys. I used to like you before EOC. But you're not fun anymore. Yeah, look, look at these graphics. Amazing boss graphics. Oh, I left prayer on again. Whoops. I'll recharge it, because I don't feel like waiting forever. Die, fat beast. Okay, that was an interesting effect, but not particularly scary because they're not even aggressive. I feel like that's broken. I feel like it's a little bit broken that these, the Turoth and Kurask bosses spawn minions that don't even attack you. And they also spawn them so slow that they basically might as well not exist. Oh well, these bosses could use some work. Wow, that was amazing. Very happy with that accuracy, huh? I'm gonna eat one of my old monkey fish. I never know what food to eat on this account. I just grab whatever's in my bank. Dead. Hooray! Post fume. Okay, so that is post fume. I guess that's it. It just counts as completing all achievements. Or something. 
Who knows? Who cares? Anyway, that is that. That's pretty good, but that didn't take too long. So you know what else we can do? Um, we can work on achievements, because why not? That was an achievement. We can work on other achievements. We are actually one quest away from doing the achievements in... Um, the easy achievements in Karamja. We just need to do Taibo when I trio, I think. Maybe I imagine that. Maybe it's medium, not easy. We've already done easy, I think. Yeah, but yeah, Taibo when I trio. Once we do that, we'll have that. Um, I really want the desert one. So we're gonna work on the desert ones right now. We still need quests for that, I believe. We need. I really need to do one piercing note. Actually, that's the only one left for that. So, yeah, I should really do that. Wow, talk to someone about a quest is weird. Who is that anyway? Cuckoo Kachat? I don't even know who that is. I just drained my prayer. Oh, well, I'm gonna go recharge my prayer for free. And then we're going to go work on some quick desert achievements. Just so that when I do one piercing note, it won't be a big huge deal to get everything done. Oh man, I didn't even use Excalibur. I was gonna boost my defense. Be like, rawr. But, you know, whatever. Um, right, so head to here. We gotta view the dual arena scoreboard for an achievement. It's such an achievement, too. Uh, let me see, what else is going on? Still no uh, Shattered Worlds update fixing the anima rates. It's really disappointing how long it's taking for them to do that. I had wanted to t bring this account in there and do some more of it, but I refuse to waste my time in there when I'm not gonna be able to get any of the rewards. Just seems dumb. And all right, so dual arena thing. I always think the dual arena is up there because it used to be further from the entrance. All right, so where's the ah? That's the scoreboard. There. Not much text on it. Oh, dual. wow, amazing. That was a great achievement. Viewing all that information. All right. Um, I hate this achievement thing. It's so annoying. Right. Anyway, desert. Okay, eagle dive into a hay cart after. Okay, get water from a cactus. Craft a fire rune. Obtain five artifacts and sell them to Simon in one go. So we'd have to go to Simon and sell them. We have to earn pizzazz points, which I hate. Attempt to spectate on a match. That might be hard. I guess attempt means you don't actually have to succeed, so there doesn't need to be anyone there. Isn't there a bank here? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. All right, so what we want is my Wicked Hood. Hooray, Wicked Hood. You know what, we're gonna dump all this junk and then get the Wicked Hood. Uh, there we go. All right, now um, activate, that's what we want. I want you to teleport me to the Fire Rune place, please. All right, enter. All right, now I want you to give me essence. Hooray! Might as well do the whole set, why not? I never use this thing on this account because we can't do the high level uh, rune crafting areas yet. So many quests I need to do. Did I ever mention thinking about doing quests like every other episode? I think I might have, unless that was in uh, old school. I don't know if I will or not. It's been such a long time since I recorded that I don't really remember what all I was doing besides working towards the Elf City. All right, so um, achievement-wise, we can go in the desert now. We can take care of chopping a cacti. I'm guessing we will also need a water skin for that, though. We'll have to hope that we have one, which I should. If not, we could go kill cow fights, I guess. They'll drop one. Oh, I hate them. Not fun to fight. All right, bank, what you got for me? I really need to get quests out of the way though. There's just so much to do. All right, um, water skin. Yeah, we got wasted bank space here. Let's refill these. Don't know why I have them, but it doesn't hurt to have them. They might be valuable someday, right? Who knows? That's what all those people holding the um composite bows in their banks from blue scrolls they made millions wish i'd done that oh well can't go back in time and tell myself be easy money if i could 
All right, uh, where's the cacti I can chop? Choppable. What is choppable? These ones. All right. Take that. Take that. One woodcutting experience. Oh, and it didn't even work. Amazing. Let's try that again, why don't we? Take that. Hooray! Wait, that only does one? It doesn't refill the whole way? Wow. Okay, well that's fun. I'm not gonna bother doing that then. All right, so we're going to head on into the old Dominion Tower, which, can we do this thing yet? We might be able to do this thing, in which case that'd be a fun thing to try out. They've made it harder, unfortunately, but we've not actually done a lot of the quests with bosses, so it might not be that bad for us. Who knows, um, how do you spectate? Is it over here that you spectate from? Forget, there's a way to spectate. You just try to climb the stairs and then choose spectate? That might be what you do. Oh, I don't. I will try. Okay, does that work? That works. All right, might have to figure out how much more quests we have to do to do this thing. Or it could be a combat level thing. Who knows, uh, what else was there? A uh, Pizzazz point's not gonna do that. Eagle dive into a hay cart. So we gotta somehow do that. I don't even remember the path that you take for that. But whatever, let's head back to Alcarid. This will be the last thing we do today. Then, uh, then there'll be the next day. Whenever that is. We Definitely gonna keep pushing the combat up, though. I really, really want... For one thing, I want this dang thing to level up. Unfortunately, you get so many tasks that aren't melee. So I really want to get to Abyssal Demons, because they're, like, the premier melee task. So easy to do. So much experience. All right, um, how do we do this? I remember you'd climb up somewhere, like over here. It's like a really long route too. Is there no other way to do it? Might be away from some other place. I don't remember where. How do you get up here? How do you do it? How do you do the thing? Is it this building maybe? I don't remember. No good. Uh, no, this building doesn't have stairs. Oh man, we gotta find it. We gotta solve this problem. I know we go in this building, right? So, do you have some way? Why do all these people have upstairs that you literally can't get to? Like, what is going on here, people? I'm gonna have to look this up. I think I'm gonna have to look this up. All right, desert tasks. We'll probably say go through the roof on the castle thing. All right, um, the first floor of the craft store. Is this the craft store? Am I missing? What are you? What type of store? You're the general store, aren't you? Yeah, where's the crafting store then? Is it the one to the north of me? I hate that it doesn't show all the things. Show me all the things, people. Crafting shop. So yeah. It's got a ladder on it too, so that kind of makes it obvious. All right, climb up steps. Yeah, I find it very strange that a lot of these buildings have upstairs with no way to get to them. It, it's a bizarre design concept, to say the least. Oh uh, well, maybe everyone just carries pocket ladders around to just climb up their window. Who knows? All right, so we go over here. Wow, look at these graphics, though. They definitely put some work into this. All right, slide down. I don't remember doing this. Oh, yeah, you go through there then, right? Yeah, it's like, how do you get up here? Who lives up here? Woman. <laughs> Hiding your identity. Wearing, like, this big deserty outfit thing. Like, oh, I won't overheat in my house. Alright, let's get over here though. I'm wasting enough time just being stupid. Alright, let's do this. I always hated this part of the quest. Now we're having to do it again just for stupid achievement. I feel like the desert achievements are kind of lame. At least the easy ones. 
Maybe not so much the harder ones, I don't remember what they are. I'd rather just climb across that rope instead of having to climb up here, but whatever. It'd also be nice if I wasn't just standing on invisible roofs sometimes. Whee! Uh, oh, down the rug. Weird place to hang your rug. How did you get up there in the first place? <laughs> oh well, maybe everyone that lives in these buildings just takes this route. It's like a well-known thing in the city, and the only secret part is this last bit. Everyone knows how to get all the way here, but then they don't realize that you can do this. That must be it. We figured out the secret of Alcarid. Nobody knows about this. Up we go. Now the jump's right there, I think. This is a lot of work for a stupid achievement. Parrot drop. Hey, wait a second. Didn't they call it eel drop? Hmm, we might have found a bug. Bug, 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 bug. Assassin's. Let me see here. Did it say parrot drop? I don't even remember. I might have just imagined it. What are you doing? Ah! Is <laughs> There's a delay, so I was clicking the wrong one, but then it delayed, and ah. Terrible. Unhide completed, please. Alright, so completed are going to be down at the bottom, I guess? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it says Eagle Dive. Oh, they have messed up. Is Eagle Dive, like, trademarked now? So they have to be Parrot Dive or something? Who knows? Who knows? Well, anyway, that is all for today. No idea what we're going to do next time. We'll figure it out. See you later.